Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Sprint Cup Kim Kuhn. I want to thank Joe Gibbs Racing for having me here today to help them out. Welcome to the final team session. You guys have made it almost through the entire Sprint Media Tour. On behalf of Sprint, thank you for participating this week. I know it's been jam-packed. Um, I know Coach Gibbs wanted to kick off today with a few words, so I'm going to turn it over to him for the next few minutes. Thanks, Kim. I appreciate it. I know all the guys out here appreciate us starting off with Kim. You guys, a little better deal, a little bit better than us. You guys got it. Um, now, for uh, we're excited uh, for our race team this coming year, mainly because um, we don't have a, a lot of changes for us, and we're getting Denny back uh, for JD and I, all of our, our sponsors, Toyota, our partner. Uh, we're looking forward to this coming year, and basically for us, uh, in the Cup Series, you know, with uh, Matt, Denny, Kyle, I think it's great to be getting Denny back. That's going to be a big boost for us. So we're excited about that. Um, our sponsors are all in place. We're thrilled about that. Uh, I think our sponsors, um, we've had conversations this week about the new format for qualifying and some of the things that we've talked about uh, with the chase. They're all excited about that. I think that's going to be a, uh, um, something that kind of makes our year special. And so uh, from a cup standpoint, we're in good shape there. We also love our nationwide program. Um, it's uh, great for us to have Elliot coming back for our second year there. And it's, we're welcoming Sam Hornish coming over to the team, which is going to be, a, a, we think, um, going to give us a, a great pair and putting him with Kyle and from the Monster program there. So we're excited about that. Um, Daryl Wallace, obviously his second year in trucks. All of us there, um, we really think we got somebody special there that's uh, doing a great job for us. And uh, we're looking forward to him uh, continuing with his career. And then we have Drew. Uh, we're hoping to get him a few more races in there. We're um, so we're excited to have our young guys coming along. Again, our sponsors and everything are all in place for our nationwide program. Our sponsors have been extremely excited for the last uh, three or four years. We have a huge program in nationwide. It's been really good for us at Joe Gibbs Racing. Um, I think our crew chiefs, uh, we feel that um, we have a great chemistry there um, with Jason, Darian, and Dave. They get along great. They're willing to work through different issues, sacrifice for each other. It's, uh, it's, it's great to see that teamwork. Jimmy kind of heading that up, um, going on 22 years with us, which is exciting for us. And uh, so for everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing, um, we're excited about the year coming up, and uh, we can't wait to get started here. So. All right, we've got some questions for each one on the lineup. J.D., the organization is coming off perhaps its best season to date with 12 race wins and two cars in the top four, five in point standings. How do you attempt to improve on such an impressive season? I think my dad said everything we could possibly say today for the rest of the event. But no, <laughs> I, I think, uh, you know, I just think we have a great team cup nationwide, Daryl and Trucks. And I think our guys, you know, we, when you started the race, it was 15 people. You know, you, you have to be involved in everything. 15. Now we've just grown so much that I'm not allowed to make any technical decisions. <laughs> and so it's just we have a great group of guys, the crew chief, Jimmy, all the drivers, all the engineers. And we just have a, a, a great group at the shop. And I think, uh, you know, may the Lord will, and we'll have a great season this year as well. Very good. Denny, 2013, not your typical season, but you did manage to keep your streak of getting one win in all of your full-time seasons in the Sprint Cup Series. How do you feel coming into 2014, and how did that win at the end of the season at Homestead help propel you to 2014? Well, I think the, the biggest thing is, you know, I started feeling better at the end of 2013, uh, really for the last probably six races or so was feeling uh, physically a lot better and more comfortable in the car and um, so you know it was good to obviously get the win at Homestead and kind of get back to you know what we've been accustomed to those like are you checking out my kicks <laughs> um, but uh, you know for me it's 
it's, it's just, uh, you know, we've got to do some testing, and I, I just feel so comfortable in the car now um, compared to what I was for the most part last year that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're going to be back uh, to our normal ways uh, in 2014. Kyle, it was announced just a few minutes ago that you're going to be bringing back the Skittle paint scheme for a few races this season. Can you comment on that and your outlook for 2014? Well, I think that it's obviously exciting. A lot of people have been excited about the Skittles brand and uh, being able to bring it back to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series is exciting for me to be able to do. Um, I like Skittles. I've always liked Skittles ever since I was a kid, so that's fun. And uh, to drive that car and, of course, uh, to just be a little bit different uh, of a candy car but yet still be the M&M's primary driver, it's, uh, it's always neat when you get out there and you get to see whether it's the kids or the moms or the dads or people that are excited and um, you know pumped up about just being able to see the colorful cars that I get to drive so uh, you certainly can't miss them that's for sure uh, whether it's because of what I do behind the wheel or whether it's because of what the paint scheme looks like so um, you know great opportunity for uh, for all the M&M's team as well as the Skittles team and uh, Interstate Batteries team this year in 2014 and get uh, getting ready for the season here. Matt. I'm not going to forget about you down there. Seven wins in your first season at JGR. How do you build off of such a successful season last year? Yeah, it was a great year for us. I mean, like all the media members out here, I can tell they're really excited. They have a really exciting week, and everybody's really uh, excited that we're the last group. So, yeah, listen, enthusiasm, excited, especially Nate and Jeff. I think they just got took their shoes and socks off, and they're counting their toes. So, anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was an awesome year for us. It really was. Um, uh, it's been uh, great to be part of this group. Um, great 2013. Looking forward to 2014. Elliot, you're going to be returning for your second season in Nationwide Series with Joe Gibbs Racing. And we'd like for you to talk about your new season and the race for the championship. Well, Matt kind of beat me to the excited part of the uh, interview. But uh, how much are we at now? How, how many excited are we at? Anybody know? How many excited? We're at 15? 15. Is that all? 17 now? 18 excited, maybe? 19 excited? I'm excited to be sitting right behind J.D. and Coach here. Also. Well, we're excited <laughs> to have you here. <laughs> well, we're definitely looking forward to, uh, you know, 2014. We feel like we learned some things uh, in 2013 that will definitely help us, um, you know, make a strong run for the championship this year. I think, uh, you know, Sam coming over. Uh, is, is great for our team and our organization and the way everybody gets along and, and, and the help that we get from the cup program, the cup drivers like Denny Cal and Matt is very exciting and uh, of course all the help that the, the cup crew chiefs gives us and things like that. So much great exciting communication that goes on between the teams uh, really helps our program and uh, man, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting 2014. I hope you guys are still able to keep count. Speaking of Sam, it was announced this offseason that you're going to be sharing the driving duties this year on the number 54 Monster Energy Toyota in the Nationwide Series with Kyle Busch. Share your thoughts on joining JGR in Nationwide this year. I'm trying to look for a different word here, but um, my word is patience. You know, I, I got a, a little bit of time to wait here before I get to go out. Everybody's been asking me a bunch of questions about new rules and things like that, but uh, you know, the good thing about uh, my gig at this point in time is I get to see how they all play out and maybe, maybe they'll be stuck, maybe everybody will know exactly what they need to do, but I'm really happy to be associated with JGR. Um, I'm glad that, uh, that I got this opportunity. I, I feel like it's a, a great opportunity for me to go out there and to uh, you know, work alongside of Kyle, to, uh, to work with Adam Stevens to get in uh, JGR equipment. Um, to see the things that I can do to make myself better and to hopefully uh, do the things that I can to, 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 to be an added value to the team outside of just what I do inside the race car. Um, and I'm happy. I'm, I'm pretty pumped up about what's going on and looking forward to it. And uh, I was running around this morning trying to figure out, you know, whether I should shave or not. You know, we've got about a 50-50 here on, on how much facial hair we got going on, which is not something that I'm used to when I get up here and do all this stuff. So maybe I'll grow a beard before I get to Talladega. All right, a beard. So you're excited, though. I'm very excited. Very excited. All right, Bubba, great rookie season in the Kyle Busch Motorsports Tundra. That included a historic win at Martinsville. Talk about your upcoming season. Yeah, well, it's too early for me, so i got to keep this coat to get me excited. But um, I'd still be sleeping right now if I could. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back behind the wheel with Tundra for Kyle. Um, last year was a great season. Now with the new body styles, it's kind of. A uh, different playing field, so starting over again, and we're trying to learn as much as we can. So, 
Um, there's been plenty of instances where I was ahead of him last year, and this time I got to make sure I'm still there at the end of the end of the race. So uh, if we're doing that, then we're winning the races. So uh, again, I can't thank him and, and and JGR and Toyota enough for the opportunity. So uh, one win won't do it enough for this year. So I know I got to go out there and and produce more and just uh, give an exciting year for uh, for 2014. Awesome. Drew, you're going to have an exciting opportunity working with Kevin Kidd in the 20 team in the Nationwide Series and hopefully have a chance to pick up more races. However, I think the most important question, can you explain this photo and why would you post this publicly? Well, I think it's pretty obvious why I posted that. I mean, I was looking good back then. <laughs> Not much has changed. A little bit more facial hair, but, I mean, any guy that can pull that off is pretty confident and comfortable with himself. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm pretty ecstatic uh, that you pulled that out. That's pretty awesome. And just, just so we know, that's a three for Dale chain that I have on, too, which is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I, you know, I, I found that the other day. My sister had, had uh, posted that or, or sent it to me, and... I thought, why not? Let's send it out there. Let's show everybody what, what I'm all about. But, um, no, I'm, you know. I yeah. think, I think the name under that well, should I be figured, stud. I, stud. Exactly. I figure if you go ahead and put one of the most embarrassing pictures out, then what have they got left what to do, you, you know? Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm happy to be back with JGR. You know, of course, you know, we wish we had more races going on for this year, but we're working hard and, and diligently to try to get more. Uh, it's always a pleasure and, and an honor to be a part of JGR and to be working with not only the people that are here and that all the media get to talk to, but as well as all the people back at JGR, all the employees. It's a tremendous group, and it's obvious uh, once I got inside the organization and started working some in the shop to understand why it's such a dominant uh, place. And, and I'm just super thankful to be here and to be a part of it. And uh, hopefully we can get some more partners and people that want to be a part of, of that picture you just saw and uh, hopefully get out there and get some more races this year.